Ever wondered what glycosides are and why they are important in medicine? Well, you're in the right place. Let's kick things off, shall we? Glycosides, arguably one of the most crucial and versatile groups of compounds in the world of pharmaceuticals. They're like the unsung heroes, playing a pivotal role in many medicinal drugs, often flying under the radar. Their importance in medicine cannot be understated, from their use in heart medications to their role in antibiotics. Over the course of this video, we will be exploring the fascinating world of glycosides. We'll begin by defining what they are, followed by a look at their classification. We'll also discuss where they occur, their properties, and delve into the nitty-gritty of their nomenclature and chemistry. So, buckle up for this exciting journey through the realm of glycosides. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these fascinating components. But first, what exactly are glycosides? These are naturally occurring compounds found in a variety of plants. They are identified by their unique molecular structure, which consists of a sugar component, known as a glycone, and a non-sugar component, referred to as an aglycone or genin. The magic of glycosides lies in their ability to store important plant chemicals in a safe, inactive form until they're needed. When the plant cells are damaged, Enzymes break the bond between the glycone and a glycone, releasing the active compounds. This mechanism is often a plant's defense system against herbivores or infections. It's fascinating, isn't it? The way these molecules store and release energy is a testament to the intricate and intelligent design of nature. It's as if each glycoside is a tiny, perfectly timed chemical bomb, waiting for the right moment to explode and protect the plant. Now that we understand what glycosides are, let's move on to their classification. Glycosides are not all created equal. They are classified into different groups. Now, let's delve into the main categories and their distinct features. Glycosides can be subdivided into several types based on the sugar component, the non-sugar component, or the type of linkage between the sugar and the non-sugar component. Each type has unique characteristics that determine its function and role in nature and pharmacology. Starting with the sugar component, we have O-glycosides and C-glycosides. O-glycosides have a glycosidic bond through oxygen, while C-glycosides have a bond through carbon. These two types differ in their stability and reactivity. Next, let's look at the non-sugar component, also known as the aglycone. Based on the aglycone, Glycosides can be classified as anthraquinone glycosides, flavonoid glycosides, cardiac glycosides, and many more. Each of these classes has specific pharmacological properties. For example, cardiac glycosides are known to have potent effects on heart function. Lastly, we classify glycosides based on the type of linkage. S-glycosides, N-glycosides, and C-glycosides are examples of this classification. The type of linkage can influence the glycoside's reactivity and the mechanism of its biological action. So you see, understanding these classifications is not merely academic. It gives us a clearer picture of how diverse and versatile glycosides are. It helps us appreciate their roles in plant biology and their potential in medicine. Understanding these classifications helps us better understand their diverse roles and functions. Scene script. Glycosides are everywhere around us, but where exactly do they occur? You might wonder. Glycosides are not just scientific jargon. They're a vital part of life as we know it, hidden in plain sight. Primarily, glycosides occur in the plant kingdom. They are found in abundance in various plant species, playing pivotal roles in their growth, development and protection. For instance, the charm of the vibrant colors in flowers, that's anthocyanin, a type of glycoside, putting on a show. And let's not forget our beloved beverages, tea and coffee. The bitter taste that wakes us up every morning comes from caffeine, another glycoside. Even the sweet scent of almonds is due to the presence of a glycoside called amygdalin. But it's not all about aesthetics and flavors. Glycosides are also the superheroes of the plant world, protecting plants from insect attacks. For example, Plants, like foxgloves, produce cardiac glycosides that are toxic to insects, ensuring their survival. Beyond the plant kingdom, glycosides also occur in certain fungi and bacteria. Even in the pharmaceutical industry, glycosides are widely recognized for their therapeutic properties. From heart medications to antibiotics, glycosides are integral to many life-saving treatments. 
So whether it's the sweet aroma of almonds, the vivid hues of flowers, or the life-saving drugs in our medicine cabinet, glycosides play an important role in our everyday lives. With this knowledge, you will start seeing glycosides everywhere. Scene script? Knowing where to find glycosides is one thing, understanding their properties is another. Glycosides, as we know, are compounds that possess a sugar molecule bonded to a non-sugar molecule, forming a powerful duo with a wide range of applications. But what exactly are the properties that make them so unique and versatile? Well, let's delve into the physical and chemical properties of these incredible substances. Physically, glycosides are usually crystalline solids that are colorless and tasteless. They are soluble in water and alcohol, but insoluble in nonpolar solvents. This solubility enables them to be easily absorbed into the body and carry out their functions effectively. On a chemical level, glycosides are known for their characteristic property of hydrolysis, where they are broken down into sugar and non-sugar portions by the action of enzymes or acids. This property is vital for their function in the body, as it allows for the controlled release of the non-sugar component, also known as the aglycone. Now, what makes glycosides truly fascinating is their ability to show isomerism. In simple terms, glycosides can exist in different structural forms that have the same chemical formula but different physical and chemical properties. This property tremendously increases their diversity and potential applications in medicine. Moreover, glycosides exhibit a property known as muterotation. This is the change in the optical rotation because of the change in the equilibrium between two anomas. This property is crucial in determining the specific rotation of the glycosides, which is a key factor in their biological activity. The stability of glycosides is another significant property. They are stable in neutral alkaline solutions, but can be broken down in acidic environments. This stability is crucial for their storage and transport, and for maintaining their effectiveness in the body. These properties, from solubility to stability, from hydrolysis to muterotation, make glycosides incredibly versatile in the field of medicine. They allow glycosides to be tailored to specific uses, making them invaluable tools in the quest for better health and wellness. The nomenclature and chemistry of glycosides might seem complex, but it's crucial in understanding them better. Dive into the nomenclature of glycosides. It's all about the sugar and non-sugar components. The sugar part, called the glycone, and the non-sugar part, called the aglycone or genin, combine to give us the glycoside name. For instance, if glucose is the sugar and digitoxygenin is the non-sugar part, the glycoside is named digitoxin. Now let's touch on the chemistry of glycosides. They are formed by a process known as glycosylation, where a glycosyl donor and a glycosyl acceptor react to form a glycosidic bond. Glycosides can be simply or complexly structured, with one or multiple sugar units attached to the aglycone. These sugars can be the same as in the diglucoside cellobiose, or different, like the disaccharide lactose. The chemistry of glycosides isn't just about their formation. It's also about their breakdown, a process known as hydrolysis. This typically occurs under acidic conditions or with the help of enzymes, breaking the glycoside back down into its sugar and non-sugar components. Biogenesis of glycosides happens in plants, where they play protective roles against pests or diseases. They're synthesized from glucose and other simple sugars via photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight. Qualitative and quantitative analysis of glycosides is key in pharmaceutical settings. Qualitative analysis helps identify the presence of certain glycosides, while quantitative analysis determines their concentration. Techniques used for these analyses include chromatography, spectrophotometry, and mass spectrometry. The nomenclature and chemistry of glycosides is more than just academic knowledge. It's vital in the development and application of drugs. Many glycosides have potent medicinal properties, making them useful in treating a range of diseases from heart conditions to cancers. With this understanding of glycoside chemistry, their role in medicine becomes even clearer. We've come a long way in understanding glycosides, and there's always more to learn. Today we've covered the definition of glycosides, their classifications where they occur, their properties, and their nomenclature and chemistry. 
we've learned that glycosides are sugar-containing compounds with significant medicinal properties. They occur naturally in a wide variety of plants and are classified based on the type of sugar molecule they carry. Their properties are diverse and fascinating, from their role in plant defense to their potential in drug development. We've also delved into the nomenclature and chemistry of glycosides, shedding light on their biogenesis and the methods for their qualitative and quantitative analysis. The world of glycosides is vast and complex, and this knowledge is crucial for pharmaceutical professionals and anyone with a keen interest in medicinal chemistry. Subscribe for more because you won't find me later. Keep exploring, keep learning and see you in the next video.